Hello, 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 my voice is dying. <clears throat> hello, hello, I'm the guy that do the lag, and today's a very strange episode of Series None. 69. <laughs> 96 Series None. Episode 43. I'm going to be examining a recent Phil video. I happened to just catch it while it was being streamed. It, kind of, it mildly annoyed me. Sounded like bait. I'm gonna take the bait, but I wanna, I want a little bit of high conceptness to it. So I brought out, brought out, a, brought out a thing I made like middle of last year, a few months I want to say before Lightside Bill was like left his server, his own server, because he was like, oh wait a minute. Being associated with the tractors isn't a good look for a guy who wants to go mainstream. It's almost like the tractors are fucking weird. And being one of them makes you fucking weird. I don't want to have to, like... I'll squeeze it in, fuck it. Nah, ah. Screw it. I'll just bring it over the frame. Imagine having to do a thing. Imagine having to put it over the frame. Phil Burnell's action terminals got a little drawing of phil right there he's like staring at nothing he's doing what he's doing on the screen wait you can't see it hold on uh that was that's a good sound to make to the microphone actually no fuck oh no okay it's good he's doing oh it's flipped okay god uno momento por favor un second mon ami s'il vous plaît all right. So on the on on this, I made it like a long time ago. He's doing the same kind of motion. He's looking at nothing. But um, I have his three driving forces: pride, greed, and laziness. Did I read it? I will. I will read it actually. So actions based on and I the action terminal I made that term up, but I have a, I look at a lot of models, behavioral models. So that's it, I guess. So, actions based on pride involve generally unwise decision-making, defended by an assertion of uniqueness. They are typified by blame, by blame shifting, and passive aggressiveness. They usually stem, either stem into or stem from contempt-based actions, so, or contempt for others, which means that if someone is doing better than him, usually of higher status, or someone's like doing better than him, they'll like... He'll be prideful and say, well, I'm the guy who's different. Because these other guys, these other guys, you know, the, the big streamers, they suck. And that's his thing. Then you have uh, greed, which is actions based on greed, attempt to maximize. There's a typo there, whatever. I could, I could, I gotta fuck it. Attempts to maximize income for purchases that are not necessary or logical. Typified by defensiveness and intentional hiding of facts, so obfuscation, obfuscation. Actions based on laziness, of course, exhibit an aversion to change and effort, even when that change may benefit him in the long term. Typified by excuses, by walls of excuses, by multiple excuses, that's, that's the main thing, and hostility. So, when you take all of these into account, you kind of get... The things that drive Phil and the Phil's driving forces. And I really... Maybe this isn't the real Phil. That's the thing. It might not be the real Phil, but the Phil that he shows us... Oh, no, I have to talk to somebody. I was going to talk over it. The film that Phil shows us, the unwise Phil that he is, they he shows these traits. And to someone who isn't, like, a fan of Phil, you kind of think to yourself, well, that's fucking stupid. Why would Phil do that? This is why, because his actions, they're not... <laughs> they're not human. They're not naturally human-like. They are Phil-like. It's the pride and the greed and the laziness. You know what I mean? It's a totally different dude. So when he, so for example, the uh, 
Raid Legend sponsorship, the Shadow, the Raid Shadow Legend so, so, sponsorship. Holy fuck! He turned. He said he got it, and he turned it down. And I think that's a mixture of pride, but also laziness. Because ha- getting a sponsorship means you have to like say, "Hey, I love this. I love this thing. I love doing this thing, guys. You guys want to play Raid?" And on one hand, it's more work than he wants to do because he has to actually do a thing. But he could also defend it through pride by saying all these other streamers guys i can't fully t post but you know you know what i mean all these all these other streamers guys they just want they do it for the money they'll show anything for the money so we can defend that by using the contempt towards other people and then fostering more contempt in his fans you see against those people there's an example here that i want to look at Returning to pay the cast of Project Seven, and in, with until they pursued him about it, until they went after him, because only Ram, only Rambo got his money, and even Rambo had to kind of like make it not just about Project Seven, but make it about like other stuff, like all the times he like drove to Phil's house to play games, and that made Phil money. Those actions, that I think that was also a lot of greed, but still a lot of pride, still a lot a lot of pride, because he made a point about how like. And to be fair, I I do I do miss one thing on this, and that's self victimization, which isn't exactly what his actions run through, but it's what usually most of his actions kind of result from. But it's greed in the sense of, of course, not paying anybody. But it was also pride in the sense of like respect the pact. They said they didn't want money. He goes on about that a lot, and they never ask for money ever. That's the main thing. Like ever. They left the project because they weren't because they weren't getting paid and they had to get actual jobs. But it's not like they left it just because they weren't getting paid. They left it because they had to start making money for themselves. Because one of them was having a kid, the other one was like an adult. And then at the end of the day, it was just a fun little thing for them to edit stuff on. It might be Phil's content, but it's their work. But Phil wants to make it seem like they were trying to scam him. Same thing with like Rambo and Howard in their video, that came, and he talked about that. Like he responded to that video three years later, and I don't think he watched the whole thing, but that's not relevant right now. What is is this video, the main video, the main co- the main focus here? That's way too small, but fuck it. You know, you get you get the vibes. You get the fucking. You know what? Hold on. What if I move it behind? Okay. Behind I wanna. Behind. Well, there's nothing you're gonna really miss. I don't think in this corner. Mm. I don't like it, but it'll 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 do. It'll do maybe. It is very obtrusive. Nah, fuck it. I'll just do what I want to do with it in the first place. Let's get to it then, huh? Let's step in. All right, guys. Let's so step in, fetch it. Wait a minute. Coming off of a stream where I finished. Put a bottle of Salsa. Uh, let's see what you guys want Salsa to talk tequila? about. Salsa tequila. Castro Jenkins just re-upped his membership for eight months. It says, "What's your thoughts on DNF Dual Game?" I have DNF no idea Dual is. Game. I, think I have fighting, no idea what that is. I literally know nothing I about it. I think it's a fighting so game. I can't answer the that. guys on Twitter all day. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Monica Levi says if I like follows give up nobody tomorrow, who talk about fighting games at all on Twitter somehow. Doing, I have no idea because I don't. I, the thing is, that's not realistic. Like the start of the start of the Q and A, by the way, the start of the Q and A is two is is the one is I don't know what that is. I think it's this, but I have no idea what it is. The second the second answer in like the first thirty seconds is I don't know. I don't. My mind. My is mind. A very logical mind. Is a very right? logical. I only. Re- you know what? Should I try it again? I have no idea, because I don't. I, the thing is, that's not realistic. I don't. My mind is a very logical mind. All right. I only real start le- real. I only really start to think about stuff when it becomes a reality. Like for example, uh, one thing that I think would be realistic. I would like to open up a business like a restaurant or something like that. 
but it's not realistic. I don't have money for it. What the fuck did you just... What? It becomes a reality. Like, for example... Okay, so what he's saying here is, I do what's right in front of me. That's what he's saying. Which is logical to him, but the thing is... It's, it's like... He's not saying... He's, he doesn't plan ahead is the main thing. He says he can't get a job because... Like you said, he said, he he doesn't think ahead. That's what he's saying. He's saying he doesn't think ahead. He thinks about things that are right in front of him. So he can't worry about things that might come far down the line. Like, if he stops getting enough tips to fund his life. But, obviously, eventually you're going to have to face that. And it's better to face it now than face it later. But and then you have this. For example... Uh, one thing that I think would be realistic. Uh, for example, one thing I think would be realistic is... I would like to open up a business like a restaurant. I would like to open up a business like a restaurant. A guy who has no experience. First of all, in a workplace in the last 10 years, and no experience in a restaurant besides tossing salads, in the last 20 or so, wants to start a business. Running a restaurant, not not cooking. By the way, he says he said it before. He doesn't want to cook. He just wants to run it. Or something like that. I'm gonna pause so fucking much. I don't have money for it. You know. But he starts. It, he starts it with. I'm a very logical person. I do things that are realistic only. One thing that I think would be realistic would be starting a restaurant. But that's not realistic. That that was the full answer. It's insane. If, tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my life, essentially. You know. Uh, I would have to. Tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. Beat, beat, beat. So it would be the end of my life, essentially. You're gonna fucking die? So he can't get a job because getting a job down the line means that, in his mind, getting a. What he's saying is that getting a job isn't realistic. But asking for tips. This was this by the this was this was the end of the stream. So this guy is saying this guy's actual tips goal that when you actually max out the tips, it's like one fifty. So this guy who's not even he's not even it's it's like you're playing like Street Fighter. You have like three bars that you can like charge. You have like three charge bars. He's not even he's like he's like less than halfway to the first charge. You can't even do like a special a special a enhanced special. Slowly Insane. ease myself into real life work. Slowly ease to... myself into real life work. Is this not a job film? You said it was a job before. It's been. It's only one minute into the video. I need to stop. Fantasy situations that I say, you know, there's no way that I could just stop streaming now, immediately go out there and just get a job. No one's saying that's not gonna happen. That. That's not reality. So I don't. No one's that. saying just I'm stop right now and go. Mind. I don't even fantasize about that. Oh, if I could get fantasize about getting else, a job. I'd like to do this. No, I don't even think about it because it's I not don't... possible. I, why? Getting a job is not why possible. Why in life make yourself? Think about things the that future? cannot happen. Getting a job cannot right? happen. That's what you're saying. Why sit there and Because then all you're going to do is you're going to end up being sad that it can't happen, right? Think about things that are possible, right? That's what getting I'm a job is impossible. Possible. I can transition my way out of being a full time gameplay. You can player, you can apply right now. You can look around right now. Half where I could do this and maybe try. You see, here's the thing. It's not like he's looking for a job. It's not like he wants to. It's not like he's transitioning, or he's trying to. It's that he could transition. Way down the line. Way down the line means literally when things go fully wrong on, on streaming and he cannot get tips on anymore. He can't, he's like maxing out at like 200 viewers and like five tippers and they can't, re they can't reach the full tip goal. That's way down the line. That's when he's going to start transitioning and getting a job. So that's logical. Try to get a part-time job and then do that. But do I want to do that? No. This is the best job I've ever had. Why would I want to transition? I thought this was a real life job, work. Unless I absolutely have to, right? So unless I absolutely have to, why would I want to do like something else? Questions people ask me all the time. Why would I want to do something else if I, I can just do this right now? I'm not that kind of minded person. Yeah, he's fucking boring. Is what he's saying about silly situations. So getting a job is silly. Okay. <laughs> Man says, "What is a game you'd like to see remade?" Like, remade? I don't want to see games remade. I want to see games actually continue. Like, I want to see... It was audio was so quiet. Like, he is maxed. 
on my headphones, and he sounds so he sounds like he's half. I've legit like watched like, like, like screen recorded like rips from Cam Girl streams that had better audio than this, like better bass, better trouble. They were just generally better. He has worse audio than Cam Girls. That's horrible. The new a new infamous that what happened to to uh what's his name like I, I forgot the name of the main character at this point what happened to him he's still alive uh well you know what the fuck was that infamous I mean it says what is a game you'd like to see remade what is a game you like to see remade like remade I don't want to see games remade I don't I want to see games actually continue I want to see sequels see the new a new infamous that what happened to to uh what's his name what happened to uh what's his name i don't fucking know you didn't start with the subject i like I, f I forgot the name of the main character i don't know what what main character of what at this point what happened to him he's still alive uh well you know what's what's going on in that world we haven't seen anything in so many years i want a new infamous game with modern infamous okay infamous great story. he didn't say what game he wanted anything out of he just then he just like he just like says infamous after saying all that Oh, it's a fucking infamous, imagine. Cole McGrath. Right? I don't really... I'm not a big one for remakes. In he just fact, plays all of them. all the remakes that I've played, the only one that I really absolutely loved was Resident Evil 2. You know? I understand but why he played a whole lot of them. games because they feel like the older games are just inaccessible to a modern audience. For example, a lot of people, if they were to play the classic Resident Evil right now, they'd be like, I can't play this. Tank controls. No one would say know, that. Terrible camera angles. No they one's just saying so this. Frustrated. They slammed the control. No one's saying this. I fucking... My first Devil I'm just, I'm an, I'm an app. Fuck. My first Devil May Cry game was fucking four. Four. And then I went to like three. Not three. I went to like five after that. I went from four to five. And I emulated two that one time. Did I emulate two before? I think I emulated, I emulated two uh, after five. So I went from four to five. Then I went to one. I was like, this fucking blows. But I still got like halfway through the game. Pretty sure. I don't know. I killed Griffin that one time. Like, I killed him, killed him, so I got to there and I stopped. I was like, this is... I hate video games. I was at that point. But no one's saying this. People it off. do and remakes of shit, that. because okay, making sequels stuff is harder, audience, but, but millennials like Phil always want new I'd stuff from old franchises. A, I'd rather just have things continue. Like have a continue Yeah, he wants things to continue. He doesn't want, he doesn't want actual so. new games, like new properties. He wants old shit to continue. Okay. He wants games from, like, <laughs> 50 years ago to get new installments. And you might say, well, that's a bit excessive. All right, Guts, you know I'll what? see you tomorrow. Yes, that's right. The Fuck poll you, is running Guts. for tomorrow's mainstream game, which is either going to be Skyrim or The Forgotten City. So remember Resident Evil. How old was Resident Evil 1? Right. When did it first come out? 1996. Well, you said, you know, that's like today, almost, like, that's almost that. legit 50 well, years ago? I, you, 40, the, 40. What you're saying now means 40. you don't watch the pre-stream podcast. Um, I don't just talk every Crowd. day. If I have a, Let's an hear. Important topic this video's been here the entire time. We talked about the whole game release schedule. For the next several months, then that's the case. This audio is but so fucking nights, quiet. Some uh, mornings, I should say, I actually open it up to people, and they ask me questions. This is Phil. Phil, like, like, like he just constantly absolves. So, I've been doing that. I, it seems to me like you're not paying attention to my free streams. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there it is. He he's constantly doing do it that will He can't stop it. Dead Space successor. I would love uh, a return to Jack and Daxter. It's like I would love a return um, to thing. They're making it. The Dead Space of successor course game they are. is being made. Uh, but the at successor. the same time. Dead so, Space is being remade. So what you're telling me is that just like remember Back for Blood guys, remember Back for Blood? We all love Left for Dead. Remember Back for Blood guys? Oh, it fucking sucks and no one plays it anymore. Remember Ukulele? No, you fucking don't. Remember Bloodstained? You kind of do, maybe. Remember Mighty Number no. Nine? I know it's an easy example. Because people like fucking Phil. Millennials like Phil, who fetishize. This is why I hate video games. So you got people who fetishize old games. The original Dead Space. Wow, the original Dead Space. Make, make Maybe they fucking suck. Like They're all Dead old Space now. Because no Dead Spaces were being made, so they started working on their game. But then at the same time, they announced that they're going to remake Dead Space. So now you have two versions of Dead Space basically being made. At the Those same aren't time two versions. One's a different the same game. game at all. Yeah, but there's no information about when it's going to be released or anything like that yet. I think. What's going to happen? I talked about this on the pre-stream podcast today in regards to the It was real fucking old, year. honestly. Really right real now, yellow. the only games we know about are in uh, February, March, and maybe like he's five real, like, more solo. The he's... What always happens is around that... He's actually like, the, he's like when he's moving and his camera, his camera correction is 
fucking awful. But he is very, when he, E3 time in certain like points, June, he's like the same color as his wall and his door. Usually it was E3 week. E3 really isn't a big deal anymore. So it's going to end up happening because you're going to have all these companies doing their own digital press E3 conferences isn't and, a big deal and, anymore. Uh, announcements. Hand and then you're going to see, oh my God, all these oh games announced. Okay? Fucking but, Christ. You know, we're not there yet. We gotta wait a few months. We gotta get through these two heavy months of game releases. These heavy months we'll of game releases. Games, I'm sure. We gotta start worrying about games. Big Papa pumped in another two dollars. Did he say worrying? You know, we're not there yet. We gotta wait a few months. We gotta get through these two heavy months of game releases, and then we'll start learning about other games. Oh, I'm learning. Sure. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> big Papa pumped in another two dollar tip, saying, "Don't hey, put me in Big Papa pumped the Papa Warrior. Controls. Who's your first favorite Street Fighter character? What made you change to a different main if you did have a good Honda? When I first started playing Street Fighter, I played Honda. Yep. But after he playing Honda a bit, I realized he was very wide of a character and was very hard to dodge fireballs. You have so to I play him for Blanca. a bit to realize Blanca that? because he's... He could jump higher, and I liked right. that he was a beast man. I thought that he was the more the more fantasy-style character, and I actually really liked him. So the Street realism Fighter, guy. My original very logical brain Street guy. Fighter. I think about... <clears throat> I think my I have a very logical brain. Oh, I like reality. Mega Man game I like the Mega fantasy Man Beast yes. Man. My favorite original Mega Man game is Mega Man 2. Jesus my fucking Christ. X game is X, the original X. Those are my two favorite Mega Man games. What a fucking time. boomer. Mega Man Eternals 2 and everything virtual Mega Man X widely 1. adopted, i.e. a must-have among people who play games. Only if. Only if. Only if. It's bullshit. Say price. It becomes more accessible. It's price. And less of a pain in the ass. Price? Here's what I mean by that. Price? Right now, you want to do VR. Say price. Well, you either need a high-end PC, no. or you need a PlayStation 4 or 5, and you need a headset that you put on your head, and it's annoying, it's heavy, it doesn't feel comfortable, uh, or it makes you sweat, and then you got... No, what you need right now is, I think, $500 at minimum? At literally at minimum? Because... I don't think PSVR is, PSVR isn't even on. No, fuck PSVR. It sucks. But like, the Vive. I the Vive. Let's go on Amazon because it's Amazon, right? The Vive is probably still way too fucking much. Just do you not tell? Yeah. Okay. So is that what 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 denomination is that? Let's, is that USD? Bitch, don't. I just want to. Yeah, as a guest, bitch. Why would I want your mask? What the fuck is wrong with you? So I'm going to assume that's a USD? It doesn't seem to be... Nope. Auto location. So... Look, I know I'm being a bit of an asshole here. That's Canada too. Fucking thank you. Thanks for doxing my country, you pieces of shit. You know what? You get my point. The accessibility thing is a fucking meme. It's not accessible. It's it's not like Jesus Christ. That's so much shit. But it's like five hundred dollars of all the things you could spend money on. Why would you do it on VR? The VR is issue. VR is actual issue. VR is actual honest issue. Is that it's a lot of shit and not a lot of shit to play. For some reason, the super expensive technology appeals most to, like, indie developers, or really small, like, kind of low-release games. And Phil is trying to say it's the physicality of the headset. Bro, your neck you is just weak. That are specific you got to buy the games Usually, for the console. there's some exceptions where games that are kind of cross-platform VR and non-VR. But most of the games that people say are must-plays are VR-only games. Basically, if you're doing VR right now, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. There's right? the price. You gotta have a very specific setup, and there just aren't enough good games for it. If all of a sudden major AAA developers said we're making the next Dead Space game is VR only, but it's a must Phil, play, it's a killer app. You're missing it's out. It's a killer on the best app. Game ever. It's a killer app. He's fucking boomer like business tech school terms. Kill, I'm just saying killer app in 2022. Also, fucking Half Life Three, like essentially Half Life Three is VR only. You know what happened to that? I know that happened, Mike, because VR. Never made if you don't have VR. And then they actually sell a setup to play it that's not intrusive to your experience, that's not ex extremely expensive. See what I'm saying? Like, this is the problem is VR very well could be viable.
But I mean, right now, it's just not. It's it, even the reality. So of it's now, everything. Many years after PSVR launch. Many years still, after four. It's not accessible to the common person. And on top of that, a lot of people get motion sickness. What does this pose? I did. People get motion sickness. People get motion sickness from like playing normal games with a, with a screen that's too big and being too close to it. Who fucking cares about them? No, real talk. I don't give a shit about people who are motion sick. Don't play the console then, bitch. Like what? Like 30% of people? Less? 30% of people who like played the, who used the VR got motion sick. How many of them couldn't handle it? I want to see me like two percent. It was funny because when I first started playing PSVR, what is this pose? I did the first like couple weeks of games that I played. Uh, what was it? Who, no uh, one cares. Until dawn, He's blood, getting sidetracked. Blood something sidetracked. It blood harvest it's not relevant. Like that, it's not relevant. Shooter, it's shooter. not relevant. And then I played. It's the not relevant. That had the undersea stuff. Oh my the fucking heist, god! Remember that? And Batman VR. All that was fine. But then with like three weeks into it, I started playing games. They were all making me nauseous. And it's like, who the fuck wants to play a game and get sick, right? You're supposed to be having you fix your settings. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, Betty it's, didn't it's check the settings. A nice idea, and yes, you can definitely get some revolutionary things out of VR. I should tell you firsthand. Some of the original games I played for VR blew my mind. I was like, wow, this is so cool. But once that initial like what? wave of like awe, awe wears off, it just all you see are the annoyances. Oh, this fucking headset. It's annoying to wear this. It fucking hurts my head. So this is this is Phil being negative here. This is negative Phil. This is this is lazy Phil too. This is this is this is Phil's lazy action terminal. Once you get once you get past the initial reaction of the thing, once what's the term for it? Once you get used to the thing, all you see is the annoyances. Is that how like cat works? Is is he over cat? I wonder if he's over cat yet. Maybe not. Give it a few years, and he'll, he'll be back into that shit. No, he'll, he'll be out of that shit. Actually, is that what happened to Panda Lee? She saw, she saw all the annoyances. Is that it? Is that how the the fucking PS5 works? Because I don't think he's played the PS5 in a good bit. Actually, it's almost like once the excitement were wore off, and he made a big deal about getting his PS5 uh, day two. But uh, he fucking hates it now. You can tell he'll say it in this stream. Actually, I'll mention he doesn't like the PS5 eyes. anymore. You know, I'll oh, get nauseous. Oh, this is not, then you just real. Oh, there's not enough room to do it. And then, and then you just complain this. a lot. It Phil. has to be made way more ease of use and less. So expensive. more boring. So we're maybe talking 10, 15 years down the fucking line of them redesigning. Redesign, 10, 15. Redesign. What the fuck? Realistically, do I see it becoming mainstream? Not really. 10 to 15 but years. Didn't this guy go, go to like business I just think school? It's hilarious because. When PSVR came Jesus. out, every fucking gaming media journalist out there was saying, VR has changed everything. It's the wave of the future. Gaming is go is totally changed forever. Here we are. It's 2022. How mainstream is VR? Still not. I fucking hate this segment. I really fucking do. Okay, so back when this literally new technology came out, journalists made a point about how this is the future, which it is. It's a new technology. I think you will mention how... Every new technology that's doing something kind of dramatically different is the technology of the future. And also, I mean, Phil doesn't own a V. Phil owns PSVR. Not like a Vive, not a Oculus. He owns PSVR. Legit console locked VR. It's kind of shit, actually, when you think about it. It's kind of the worst possible thing. Good thing Xbox didn't do that, because holy fuck, that would have been a, a riot. <laughs> But, like, I want to say, like, Oculus kind of got, got big in, like, 2015. Which, if it's, like, 2015, bro, I mean, technology advances exponentially. Like, you give it a few, like, you like one, two years, maybe even this year, you're going to have some really new in-depth technology, which like VR, that's being pulled out. That's relatively affordable. And it might be like a giant bump down in the past consumer view. Like, it's just, that's not how the market works. And then this is shitting on journalists and how he's trying to be Still like such not. a cool dude. No one talks about it. The games that are supposedly good for it never get considered games. No of one the talks year about you, bitch. No one even fucking cares about Games VR, of the Year contenders. The, that Don't you hate fucking Game Award shows, Phil? Game of the Year? Who gives a show about Game of the Year to contenders? Who fucking cares? There's like five games for it, and they can't all be as good as the mainstream games that play on a single console. 
that are meant to be kind of basic. Fuck it. That small group who always need to be, oh, I need every new piece of tech. I like you? On top of all the new the, trends and this, everything. The, 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 never, it the neck phone dude is saying this? It just hasn't. The dude with the fucking neck phones is gonna be like this about okay, this shit? Let's continue. Enough about VR. Let's talk about Jesus what we're Christ. Just stare and at the chat. The chat has completely frozen. Sniff. Thanks. Lean in, Sniff. <laughs> he looks so fucking salty. <laughs> you okay, man? Have you ever been to a VR bar? No. The only VR stuff I've ever seen in real life. There's a couple arcades demos around them all. here where they'll have like a VR setup. You go demo, okay, demo setup. You VR game, but it's nothing mainstream at all. No one really cares about it out here. People in Seattle don't care about a new technology film. Maybe they're just used to it, and VR is like I'm not gonna try to simp for VR. It's a pretty limited shitty technology for video games, and in general, because VR isn't really like a lot of things that were promised in the past for the future of technology. It doesn't take the form that we wanted it to take. People wanted like full body VR, and we didn't really get full body VR. We got controllers, we got handheld controllers, and a headset that made you you can look look around in. You put a screen on your face, but like, no one really cares about him. It's so fucking stupid because no one cares about him. No one cares about him. Seventeen dollars, bitch. Ain't hit no member. Ain't hit no member goal. It would be His nice chat doesn't want to talk to him. You go to a bar, you play twenty bucks, you go inside, and you play VR games for like two, three hours, and they're good games. And by the way, it's a setup that's that's and they're VR. good games. What does that mean, space though? To do it, the sensors work properly. I could see that. Not so he wants to like COVID, rent out a space. COVID, that would have been that's, nice. That's, now that's it's fucked. That it ain't gonna happen. Big consumer. Consumer keeps consuming. No, Monica Levi, I'm not going to smoke or do edibles. I don't care about weed. I hate smoking, first of all. I just ha I hate the feeling of smoke in my lungs. I think it's terrible because my, my mom has smoked her whole life. Mm -hmm. I lived in a house for 20 years. It was full of smoke. I fucking hate it, okay? This dude's edibles, like no, 30, 39. High, be stupid. All right, you know, if I want to get a buzz, I'll have a drink. I don't need to be <laughs> I eating fucking love that and shit. fucking drugs and shit. Because Phil this dude lives in Seattle, and he wants to, if I want to get, if I want to get a buzz, I'll, I'll drink. And he's saying all that shit. I don't need to do drug and shit. Bro, why the fuck you live in Seattle then? Go back to Connecticut. You, why would you live in this city that's like our kind of their thing? Is like where the you know where the guys where you know, where that one teacher that's trying really hard to be liked in high school. I don't want to do drugs. Imagine how hype the DSP drug stream would be. He just pops an edible. He hasn't even tried them ever. The last time you tried weed, literally the last time he told us he tried weed is when he was shitting and vomiting after drinking hard liquor and weed. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm sick? What the fuck? He, he, we're in current year. His last experience with weed was fucking, what, early 2000s? When he was in high school? So like, maybe the late 90s in Connecticut. Joe's all the ass. From, from another high schooler. Lovecraft says, I think Lego Star Wars is good. Will be good. I don't know. Uh, today, I haven't really looked into I'm it. But people are saying the they've changed the formula like, of the Lego Star Wars games. It's no longer a massive collectathon. That this new one will be completely different. Rip those, you already know. Sounds good. Smoking I hope that it's pack. good. I'm interested in it. What was for dinner? Rigatoni pasta, spicy marinara, and uh, spicy uh, marinara. chicken sausage. Chicken sausage. Okay, see you soon. I love Ada Yu. Ada's a pretty interesting character. I like that she's like a super spy type. Um... I, you know what I don't like? She never really had a full story fleshed out, right? I like her because she's a spy, a game, but I don't like that she, her story isn't fully fleshed out. She was just the mysterious spy there to be a part in That's kind of her thing, story, isn't it? But never really had her own uh, motives or backstory. Or even so she's like a spy out. or something. A lot of the times, you never know who she, what she, her motives are. She's like a spy so or something. Like she's like secret or something. I wish they told us more about the spy and made her less okay. mysterious. Yeah. All right, Monica. You don't have to, but I appreciate that. She said basically because I answered two questions tonight. She she tipped me in the morning. Mark says I own PS5 disc edition. I've never experienced VR. Should I wait for PSVR two and get the current one? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, VR is not going to be a big deal. 
There'll be a few. What'll happen is just what happened with original PSVR. For a six month period, everyone will hype it. The games media will kiss its ass. You got to get it. It's the games play. media will kiss its ass. You'll play a bunch of games for a few will be good, a few will not so good, and then the whole fad will die out, and you'll wonder what you wasted your money on. It's exactly what happened with me. I spent a yeah, because you're money fucking PSVR, stupid, Phil. Played it for a few months and didn't care about it ever again. <laughs> you know. He doesn't look at anything though. He's never he. You never played it again because Frank he didn't want to. Open to receiving an MRE that was laziness. Or GSP tries to center it around it, so we're actually pretty tasty. I don't even know what that was. Like, once again, lazy. You know, and this is also laziness and pride and contempt for the gaming media because this is his thing here is like, oh, the game, the gaming media will kiss its ass, and it's like, and he wants to like hit him with the wise old man, like you know, retrospect is is twenty twenty. Is that the term? hindsight is 2020 yeah i don't think they knew back when vr was fully coming out that the market wouldn't be supported that well because how the fuck would they know that isn't that kind of a big thing with like gaming media ga game game publishers and game developers that they make promises and they never keep them goodbye volcano high is still not out good i am pissed goodbye volcano high is legit still not out and that pisses me the fuck off it was like, is it canceled? I don't even fucking know. You know what else? You know what else? You know what else hasn't come out yet? <laughs> I'm pissed. Fucking, fucking, uh, way to the woods. All these games that were promised, I th I want to say during that one PS5 event or something. E3 2019. That's still not out. It's almost like a lot. It's almost like games just kind of promise shit. And a lot of them either don't come out or people don't care about them. That's kind of how it's kind of how shit works. And journalists get told things that turns to be not very true. And then it's like, well, we didn't know. And they didn't know. They didn't know. Returnal came out. There was that other game that I fucking forgot even got announced. Returnal came out. That's a game for Spoken. Returnal came out and fucking, um, uh, Kina and the World of Spirits or whatever it's called. But like there's a lot of games that just get announced and they don't come out. Forspoken is still upcoming, but it it could just not. Like it could just fucking not. The Square Enix game? Or published at least by them. That's wild. Oh yeah, remember Ghostwire Tokyo? I remember the Ghostwire Tokyo trailer. Remember how the gameplay entirely changed? Yeah. It's almost like things just kind of get announced and don't really... You know? That's just how it is, man. They don't kiss his ass, they get hyped for it, because making people hype is... a bit better than making them not hype and saying, it might not be that good, guys. Because that generates less clicks. So him trying to be this cool dude over them and shun them with his fucking his laziness. Oh, I don't want to do anything with VR. Except that it does have platforming and parkour. And like, oh, the game media, they don't they don't understand real gamers. I will tell you the real facts. I won't lie to you like they do. Okay. Go Team Ventures' arcades are few and far between these days. Do you wish they would resurge a bit? I I miss good arcade. I don't think they ever will come back, only because there's no real competitive games or anything to really warrant. Uh arcades coming no back there's just no people. reason when arcades were prominent there were two major waves of arcades being prominent the <sighs> first wave was when there were no home video games or they weren't mainstream Duh? so you wanted to play video games you go to the arcade you play Batman, you play donkey kong you play space invaders you, you know that's how Duh? you got your video game fix you yeah, competitive right? space invaders but then yeah. everything went home console so then what was the attraction of going to the arcades well now let's have games in arcades that Fighting are games? way better than the home consoles. Street Fighter, social aspect because there was no internet back then. You could play against other people in a competitive way. You have to be there in person. The graphics are better than what you can have at home. That got people to go That's to arcades. one example. But the moment that the home graphics got good enough to be as good as arcades and the internet hit, there was no attraction for arcades anymore. Now, most arcades that continue to be successful... um end up being barcades meaning you drink you get some food you go in you play some ticket games redemption games you mess around you want to know why they're a, popular a, a prize on the way out it's actually not about probably for a bunch of fucking millennials of it's about just messing around being buzzed and having a good time which is fine by the why way. does everyone have to be That's buzzed what's this part of arcade attraction is having a great time but 
Yeah, it's a bunch of fucking millennials who are being, being nostalgic for sure. They really enjoy for the only place yeah. to play video games or the only place to play competitive video games. That is long gone. So he just asked. And I don't here, think that's here's the back. thing. Here's the thing. Let's go into the question. Two, three, four, five. And so there people in a competitive. Six, seven, eight. Coming back the way that. Nine, ten. Way more like Dark Souls. So that's a great thing, in my opinion. Okay. Go Team Avengers. Arcades are few and far between these days. Do you wish they would resurge a bit? I, I miss good arcade. Do you wish they would resurge a bit? That was the question, Phil. Do you want arcades back? Phil's answer. Anymore. Now, most arcades that continue to be successful is having a great time. But the days of an arcade being a place, a social gathering for the only place to play video games or the only place to play competitive video games, that is long So gone. someone asks, hey, Phil, do you want this back. thing back? His answer, I don't think it's coming back. Thank that that so wasn't the question, you fucking really asshole. sorry. The support is so slow tonight. The uh, question was, do you want them back? Go to bed. All right, Big Papa but thanks for the night. cool answer. Thank you for the support. Guys, it would be great if I could get some support tonight. It would be great if I could get some support. Now you understand that that was an action based off of the greed term, by the way. Tons of attendance. We have over 300 people on the stream. By the way, guys, thanks for over 100 likes. There's tons of attendance. He fucking dips his face, his face into the void for a second. There's tons of attendance. What do you mean by that? You're saying, they, do they have to donate? Maybe they don't want to donate the film. They can watch and not donate, you asshole. What the fuck? I feel so targeted. Right now, That's I feel like targeted. Gold. We did hit it tonight, so thank you for that. Over 100 likes on tonight's stream. Haseo X says it would be interesting if the next Resident Evil game has Chris, but perhaps we'll have the return of Leon and Ada. Who knows? Those last two Resident Evil games were good, 7 and 8, but man, to try to figure out how they're going to tie that into the main lore of Resident Evil, I have no idea. Chris being just a side character and really having no other ties until the very end of Resident Evil. How are they going to tie Chris, characters like Chris and Leon into the main story? Well, I mean, Chris is already in the story. You can just make him do a thing. Resident Evil 8, they didn't even reference anything from fucking Resident Evil, you know? Man, I don't know. <clears throat> Jade said he's meant Power Rangers Tommy. That's cool. A lot of people have said that they have because he was in MMA for a while, and I guess he was more of a celebrity, you know, not just Power Rangers, but he did other things. That's cool to hear that you met him. I don't think he did any other Eternals things. Is, I think he... Also, also, you game. know what? I know for... Oh, this rant coming up is going to be fucking amazing. It's all pride. It's all pride and laziness, quite frankly. But his thing about how, oh, he was, he was an MMA for a bit, I know for a fact, I know for a literal fact, the reason that he knows that, and it's the reason I know this, because back when CM Punk, I did a video on that, it's deleted now because UFC protects their boy. They, want, they don't want their content being hosted somewhere else, fair enough. But there was hype around a CM Punk uh, Green Ranger fight. For UFC because they're both kind of like celebrities. I want to say Green Ranger didn't do anything else. He kind of just didn't win much after that, and Punk lost his first fight, and no con. <laughs> then like either no contest in the second fight, or I think it was a draw. But then he got a win after the fact, like the years later, because Mike Jackson was on marijuana and that made him fight better as a so he, punk won that fight but he got fucking dominated within like the first run within like a minute by mickey rourke who i think is having a pretty good run right now let's see is uh not mickey rourke mickey gall mickey gall but he got fucking he literally got rolled this fucking asshole this prick tapology seven four it's all right it's good enough. He won his last fight. Oh, he lost. Oh, I didn't watch that fight, huh? I watched that fight. Mike, oh. Wait, Mike Perry? No, not Mike Perry. Who am I thinking when... No, it is Mike Perry. That's a horrible picture. Holy shit. I thought it was like some other dude called Mike Perry. That's a really rough picture for him. God damn. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Sage Northcott. What the fuck? How dare you? That's the image you use? Ah, uh, the zero one. That's a no contest? Yeah, okay. No contest. 
<laughs> well, either way. But I know that... I know that Phil only knows, knew of that he was in MMA for a while because he was watching wrestling at the time. And so you have the, the CM Punk versus Green Ranger. I forgot his real name. But it was a thing that was being set up. Uh, but it didn't... There you go. Jason Frank. See, look at all these videos. Look at all these old videos. It never happened because people didn't care. And Punk lost. And I think Ranger just kind of stopped. So, But that's how I... That's, I know for a fact, in my heart of hearts, that's how Phil knows. Now I got, side, I got sidetracked with fuck you. I don't care. The, of employees, the gig economy... The gig works economy. Both ways. Here's how the gig economy works. You need no training. Why is he explaining no this guy? Real proof that you even know how to do a job. You just get work. You need no proof that you can do a job. No, you do need proof that you can do a job in the form of reviews from customers. Phil, you would know that if you do things, but you don't know anything. If you have really bad ratings, people are gonna. You're not gonna get as many jobs. Because then. Both the businesses and the service lose money on refunded orders. But Phil doesn't know that as a guy who I who orders food a lot more than I do. I know for a fact he orders food a lot more than I do because he ordered like pancakes the week before this. He ordered pancakes like some kind of piece of shit. But okay, and he's a business major too. Fucking idiot. Okay, the gig economy is based off of you're not actually working directly for an employer. You're an independent contractor. So that employer has no responsibility to give you health care or any other protections whatsoever. But it's they can also fire you on the spot. It, you make some money. But here's you the, advantages apply, the, actually. the advantages are, like I just said, you don't need to have any training or nothing. You have a shot just like everyone else to do a job in the gig economy. You don't need to even know how to drive well. You don't need to know anything. You can also tell he or he orders food a lot more because his version of the gig economy is literally just delivery stuff, and not like freelance writing or do taking commissions on art, like not even the most basic shit of a gig, or like I don't know weird shit like fucking setting up shows, like as a as a stationed roadie I guess like a a stationary roadie. Like sound, nothing, none of that. It's 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 literally just like his version of gig economy is just delivering food because he lives in the film world. Anything about picking up food? You need nothing. Picking up food. You got there a you job. Go. You're you're DoorDasher now. Wow. DoorDasher. Great. Okay. Drive, pick up food, drive it, deliver it. Done. You get it there quickly and hot. Good rating. You're gonna get more work. You get it there slow and cold. Fuck you. Bad rating. You get kicked out of the system. You'll never. Oh, so I thought there was no responsibility, Phil. I thought I thought I thought I thought. You can just do it whenever you want. It's almost like you can't just do it whenever you want. It's almost like you have to have someone vet for you. Whoa. It can work again. Sounds like a good idea, except the problem is with jobs like that is that it's completely er 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 erratic. You don't know how much you're going to get paid consistently because some people might tip big, some people might tip small, and that's what you're getting paid for those jobs. Sometimes you get screwed <sighs> over. What if you didn't do anything wrong? Yet the food still is shows up late, shows up cold. Uh, you know, you didn't make the food, but you're delivering it. You're the one who gets in trouble for it, right? Um, on the flip side of that, what I've seen is, quite frankly, around here, and this is me being honest, whenever you order food, you have no idea who's going to deliver it. You can get someone you want who's professional, him? who cares about the job, who gets right there, gets your food, gets it to you as soon as possible, actually follows the instructions. Oh, my God. And gets it to you right away. And the reason I say that, I live in a private gated community. Yo, the way he don't... brushed the fuck over. Oh, I don't want to dox him. But the way, okay, the way he brushed over the negatives, like the drawbacks for the workers in gig economies, of course, just drivers, but whatever. Very short. The way he complains about it. Oh my god, it's so long, it's so only big. Only enter from one street. There's other streets to enter, but they're all blocked. You can only enter from the front gate. Nine times out of ten when I order food, no one pays attention to the instructions I get. They ignore them. I've had people call me on the phone. And I say, did you read the instructions? And I'm not kidding you. They said, I can't read English. Okay. Someone who's working off of an app to deliver food they can... who can't read English. That's the gig economy. Maybe they can't you read your instructions. Any education, no qualification. No education. They can have.
I like how in his mind not being able to read English means no education. They can still know certain things, but maybe your instructions are kind of annoying to read for an immigrant. You know, it's just... It is what it is. But of course, education in his mind is, can you speak, can you read English? That's education. Or how just follow a fuck, just follow the fucking, the, the, the GPSs are so visual now. They just give you a line. Jesus Christ, man. Just get work and you could be really good at your job or suck ass. And then you got to hope that the system of ratings actually clears out the people who are terrible it at it. It sounds like film. And only the people who are good can actually stay behind. But that's not how it works. Sadly, I hate to say it. Whenever I order, it's a crapshoot who you're going to get delivering your food. Yeah. Same thing with Uber and stuff like that. It's not just delivering a food. It's actually like oh, there driving, you go. taxi drivers. Yeah, there it is. Like Still too. driving. Taxi drivers are not Joan Jay says, why would they need to be read English gigs. to deliver food? They need to read street names. They need to be able to read instructions. If you can't read a simple instruction that says, I live in a private community. You must enter from the front gate from this street. And by the way, here's the code to enter. If you can't read that... You shouldn't have a delivery job for food. You shouldn't have a job. <laughs> well, you can't read you my need, instructions. You, have basic you shouldn't have a job, to bitch. You be able to drive in, in, in the United States, or you should. If you can't read my instructions, you don't have it. You can't have a job. That's right, and that's see. My rune says they just plug in the address. I mean, obviously they read it good enough to get to your house. Just wait outside, you lazy fuck. Holy shit, bro. Go whatever, go whatever the the GPS routing says, and that's wrong. You should, you can't do that. That's what I'm saying. They shouldn't. You can't. That's not the solution. job. The job is supposed to be able to actually deliver the food, not follow a GPS. It's not GPS. The job should be deliver the food, not follow the GPS. This dude's entitlement is so fucking shitty. Holy shit. Like, they got it close enough to you to where you can literally just walk outside and get it. Because it's a gated community. If you haven't seen it, you can find this address pretty easily. I think you can search, like, DSP, DSP Productions. And you'll, no, Burnell Productions. You'll find it pretty easily. Burnell Productions, like, Renton. You'll, you'll find at least something according to his address. But, like, even beyond that, it's, like... I'm sorry that this I'm maybe I'm sorry that this guy, this random dude, isn't getting it close enough to your front door for you to deal with Phil. So, God damn, bro. Follower, it's lazy food delivery. You need to deliver the food, not follow a GPS. If you can't deliver the food because you can't read, you can't do the job, you shouldn't be taking work. What other kind of job are they gonna have like here, here's the thing. This is Phil saying who people who people who should and shouldn't get a job, right? This is his this is kind of weird pride thing, and I'm going by the the terminals again. It's kind of it's kind of weird pride thing where he, people who work for him, because in his mind they're working for him, right? He's a they're, they're independent contractors. They're, they're under his contract right now, but like, bro, just walk outside for a bit and get your food. If you live in a, if you need instructions to get to where you live beyond just use this door, it's a bit much in it. Bit much, or go to this like go to this go to this door. Here's the entrance code for the building. Go to this place, or call me when you're at the front in the lobby. Like it's kind of intense to go anywhere beyond that, actually, honestly. But uh, okay, okay, amigo. It's that simple. <clears throat> Uh, Go Team Venture, tip $5, says you make some very good points about arcades. Mega Man 3 and Mega Man X are my favorite Mega Man games. Awesome. Mega Man 3 is also really good. And then Windows XP Phone, tip $5, said her shotgun looks like the ones the Island Boys used in the Oliver Tree video. Life Shout out to my Island Boys series. out there. I have no idea what this guy just said. At all. Unless you're talking about Ada from Resident Evil. Was that, I, was that, was that an Island Boys and Oliver Tree reference? I said you make some very good points about arcades. Mega Man Three, Mega That's Man pretty X are based. my favorite Mega Man games. Awesome. Mega Man Three is also really good. I fucking love thumbs, thumbs and then up. And Windows XP phone tip five dollars said her shotgun looks like the ones the Island Boys used in the Oliver in in the Oliver Tree video. In the Oliver Tree video. Life goes on. Great series. Life goes on. Great series. I have no series. idea what this guy just said, at all. That's fucking Unless based. Unless you're talking about Ada. I was how confused Evil, he is. He's aggressively confused. Right over my head. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 
Oh no, the thing. Thank you for the tips, guys. This is capture. Give me a second. I want to see this. I want to. I want to find this. Oh, we do have other entrances, but they're for emergencies only. Emergency entrances. You're not gonna have ten entrances to a. Okay, that's. Meeting. I see it now. I see it. it. <laughs> that was <laughs> a good remix, though. Pointless. It was a sick remix. <clears throat> I enjoyed it actually. Death Loop or Returnal? Oh uh, man, out of those two games, I think Death Loop was more entertaining for me. I didn't love well, it. Well, you didn't say the N word, didn't? I so was that, that. Was a more entertaining game. I actually enjoyed try trying to figure out the ways to kill the targets. Was I'm sipping to tequila right now. It's insane. And maybe listen to conversations and unlock evil, intel evil that actions. To figure out someone would be at a place. Oh, you kill two or three targets at once. Just that was really make your cool. statement. Like Jesus Christ! This way of was explaining so is so annoying. In Death Loop, in Returnal. There's like that that third the third world is just an insane boring fucking grind and because of the game design it's just not fun. So. Fan of Lovecraft says, do you have expectations for Project Spartacus, Sony's take on Game Pass? Yeah, here's what I want. All the classic. Do you have expectations? Yeah, here's what I want. Those aren't really expectations in this context. It's just things that you want. What do you expect from them? PS1 games. On demand. PS1 games? Instantly downloadable, playable. And I want them to run well. Who the fuck be, wants oh, PS1 games? Like on fucking PlayStation Network, and it runs like shit. Who the fuck wants PS1 games? To load, and you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to actually do it, do it right. Take a look at Game Pass. Most of the games on there, they actually worked hard to make those run well on the modern consoles. They didn't just... But are they... Are they... Xbox original games? Why does he want PS1 games? What the fuck wants PS1 games? It wants to play fucking like sneaking? What's wrong with this dude? Say port it and fuck it. They actually said port let's it make fuck run it. more smoothly. Let's make them look better. That's what I want. I don't want oh, you get, you know, this this the system, Spartacus or whatever they're gonna call it, and it's the same exact version that you've already played. So you want to run good? That That's what you're saying? Like shit, runs like shit, looks like shit. I would like them to actually. The game looks like shit. What does that mean? Like the FPS? I don't know what Sony's on the PS1 Sony's game. playing catch up this console gen for sure. So I don't know what they're gonna do. Randy, absolutely. He says, do you think that I would get more harassment in real life if I didn't live in a gated community? First of all, again, I'm going to just say this up front. I don't tell you guys everything about my real life. Do you think you get more harassment in real life if you didn't live in a gated community? So that, that right there, he is so fucking scared. So scared of the internet that, like... He firmly believes, and I guess it's because, like, like Wings videos, I, I have to assume it's, like, Wings videos, but he is so, like, it's just Wings shit, it's Wings shit, and probably the one, like, boogie Frank Castle thing that happened last year, because Wings gets harassed a lot, because, I don't know, Wings lives in, Wings is, Wings lives in, like, what, North Carolina? In, like, a fucking, like... A hovel? Excuse me, but like a, a hovel? But yeah, he's, he's legit afraid of the internet. Because if I did, sadly, you know, number one, it would be used against me and to hurt myself and my family. But also, as I've told you guys, say this up front, I don't tell you guys everything about my real life because if I did, sadly, you know, number one, it would be used against me. And in what way? Are you some kind of spy or something, Phil? What are you hiding from us? If I told you about my life on it, like, if I told you everything about my life, things were like, I would actually, like, would you get... What are you hiding from us, bro? It's kind of scary. And to hurt myself and my family, but also, as I've told you guys, the less you know, the better it is. What you need to know about is the stuff that's on my streams, right? You don't need to know about shit that happens, but... Imagine if I someone telling community, you, I could tell you the less you know, the yes, better. I would get harassed more. From the honest guy. When I wasn't in a gated community. It was worse. He was getting harassed um, in Connecticut. And there are things that have and he happened. Never, he so, never yeah, mentioned I'm it. Actually very, very but he was getting harassed in Connecticut that somehow. I took the extra steps to back this back when this guy was filming videos with his girlfriend, at where they were going, where they were, like, ho hotel that, honestly. They could have, like, done a stakeout for him, quite honestly. But, like, back when he was showing us, as he said, he was showing us his whole life. Back then, he was 
getting harassed and he never mentioned it. I don't quite believe that, sir. I think you're making things up in order to, like, make this make sense. And that's okay. Yo, was that 2233? Two, two, that's an amazing time, time code. Goddamn. Because it definitely has benefited me over the years. TX Shooter, this Super Chat says, Tomorrow the Forgotten City. Tomorrow is based on your voting. Whatever the, the results of that poll is on the main page of DSP Gaming will determine what I play tomorrow. Is the voting Forgotten City? Right now. I can tell you that. I don't know what my, my polls are at. Uh, wow, the, the keyboard stopped working. I can tell you that before I started this stream, keyboard stopped working. Uh, it was of actually course. Skyrim in the lead by about 7%. It wasn't 7%. a percent Um, But it was in the lead. Uh, Jesus. By the way, overnight that could change. I don't know what's going to happen. All right. I can check. Want me to check? Currently, it's 57% Skyrim, 43% Forgotten City, with uh, 825 votes so far. Usually, we get between 1,000 to 1,500 votes. So, it's still, I mean, it could still could go either way, and we've got overnight for that poll to run. But right now, Skyrim's in the lead. So, yeah. What the fuck is happening here? You gonna talk, bro? Crimson Tide. I have no idea if Street Fighter Six. So he was reading it. We don't even have a single piece of information about it, so there's not even point to point. There's no point to speculating. You know. There's no point to speculating. Say, asked how's Jasper? He's good. He's downstairs. Why not? Right now, chilling. Speculation's fun. You know what? Cap is on. Nine ninety five has just tipped me ten dollars. Said, hey, been a while since I've been to the stream. Been busy with my career over the past couple of years. Hope my all career. Well. Sure you have. See you still streaming. Thank you, Big Toe. Uh, yeah, that's a big I, and I'm happy to be still streaming, albeit a different place. Uh, but I'm very happy doing what I do, uh, and I'm happy to see that the work that I'm putting in uh, towards growth here on DSP Gaming is actually considerably working. I've seen in the last month since I started to get engagement up, engagement is going way up. That's just going to help. I, I really feel February will be a great month. Because February, we have so many new releases in a short period of time. In what way? There'll be people looking for those new releases on YouTube. They'll bring like you engagement eyeballs. is and just... Because it could be just guys comments. And comments were turned on last year. Comments on videos. Really I late last year. Are, are gonna be of course, it's way up. You have comments growth. allowed. Comments are happening. Month, yeah. The very least. They'll go way up. No duh. So thank you, Big Tone. It's actually good to see you. Uh, haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I hope you're doing but, well. But I mean, man, with... Uh, let me get you... I forgot that you're the top tipper here. Hold on. Let me get you up here. Not even 200k. Feels bad, man. Almost 200k. Thank you. Subscribers and then the okay. the 1k one one. Swaggers wants Chestnut behind me. Chestnut was behind me the entire month of December. Where were you talking about? I think Swaggins. Were you paying attention in December? He was right here. Maybe he wants <laughs> he him was back. Literally right here in what a is pile this? of what is this? not acorns, uh, pine what is... cones and snow. What is this? Were you paying attention in December? Okay. This passive Swaggins wants Chestnut behind me. Chestnut was behind me the entire month of December. Swaggins wants Chestnut behind me. And Snow. And his answer to that is he was behind me before. But he's not there now? So maybe he wants him back there, Phil? Buddy? You okay? Shake shells. Where were you? Where were you? It's like <laughs> he's a fucking like a, like a rapper or something. Where was you? All I right. that shit last year. Where the fuck was you? All right, guys. Well, about lacking. another 15 minutes or so before I call it quits for tonight. Before I call it Any quits. Any more questions? He's tapping out. Crimson Tide says, I'm looking forward to you playing the Evil Dead game when it comes out. Does it have a release date? Because I was checking release dates last night. We talked about it on the pre-stream today. I did not see a set release date for Evil Dead. If it has one, I missed it. If so says chestnut's not a festive item, he should be out the entire year. Yeah, exactly. That's As what you're saying. See, this is a gaming setup now. I don't really like to have this is a gaming like setup. You can't have a, so. a, a, a squirrel behind you because it's a gaming setup. What a cool dude. Is it? My ruin says it looks like the Evil Dead game will be a Dead by Daylight clone. Is seriously? I didn't know that. I, I, th I have not seen a single piece of information about the game. I don't this, 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 this a random dude. Month. It has a set release date. I didn't see that. This random. Of Hades. I like these random fucking dudes just just pulling up in his chat, and they know they know more about the game than he does. Literal random dudes, and he knows nothing. 
If it does get a sequel, would you consider playing it? Yes, I would play it for sure. Original Hades was so crazy good. The, the one concern I would have is, man, I would hope that it hits consoles right away. This fucking dude and those fucking sequels. Why is there only one sequel? Hades is a good game on its own. Leave it alone. Let it be a good game on its own, you fucking cocks. So excited to buy things. And I say this is a guy that loves Hades. Some things don't need a sequel, buddy. What are you? 12? Man, what if there was a Sleeping Dogs 2? That was me. That, that's what I think. I think that every day I wake up in the morning, man, what if they announce Sleeping Dogs 2? That'd be so hype. And they never announce it. So then I stopped, I stopped asking myself that. I moved on. Feels good, man. Hey, that was the problem. Hades came out on PC. Then, like a year and a half later, it came out on Switch. Then, like a year later, finally came out on other consoles. Like, gee, who took so long? I would have played it much earlier. You could you have it's you feel like you have a PC you can just it's Hades it's not like an intensive game to run. The problem with Hades was that it hit, it hit consoles too late, but it didn't though. It was game with like I don't know what how it's an issue. It just came out later on a tertiary on a secondary system. It was developed for PC. It was in beta on the Epic Store. Then it came out on like Steam, and then the Switch, and then it came out later on. It got ported to consoles. It's almost like it wasn't made for consoles initially. And they didn't want to go really big on how they were going to... On their markets. So they had it on PC at first, and things kicked up. And then they put it on the Switch, because it was probably easier to get... The it's probably a lot easier to get shit on the Switch, quite frankly. Because it's, it's like... A shit console. I don't know if that makes this doesn't, doesn't make sense. Fuck it. <clears throat> I'm glad you enjoyed tonight's stream, Pickle Man. I'm glad to hear that. Shout shout outs to Pickle Man. Real talk. Ah, itchy nose. Mark feels that P PS5 uh, will be a uh, well February will be a good month for the PS5. Because I'm playing 1990s Capcom games, 1990s Neo Geo games on my PS5. No Game Pass, no PS Now. It kills the console. I hear you. Uh, you know, for, here's the thing in February. All right? Sifu, good. Horizon Forbidden West, good. King of Fighters, I think a lot of people will be playing it on PS5. So right there, there's a bunch of games. Um, You already have an installed player base to be playing Elden Ring on it. A lot of people own PS5 as opposed to Xbox where people are just catching up, buying the Xbox Series X and S. Of course, mostly S because you can't really get the X right now. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good month for PS5 overall. Finally getting a ginormous exclusive like Horizon Forbidden West. So, <clears throat> no, Kat does not come in and watch watch me stream in person. Sometimes she'll watch over the internet. Like, she'll be downstairs and she'll watch them. So, like, this morning, I know for a fact she watched a little bit of the Skyrim stream. What the fuck is wrong with Cat? You know what I mean? What the fuck is wrong with Cat? Bro, you live with him. You can just go into the room. That's so weird to watch someone stream. Like, is she running ops? Is Cat trolling? Phil, sh Phil should, like, check her account. I think she's... I, I think... I think Cat's pulling ops. There's no damn way that Cat is really out here living like this where you're waking up in the morning. Let me watch Phil stream. Bro, you live with him. It's not like there's much to miss. It's like no like it's not like it looks good. It's not like you're watching your husband like like a like a fuck like a like a edited video or like a a like a scripted thing. Or a performance, really. It's it's a, it's a performance, sure, but it's not exactly one that you have to watch through technology to really enjoy. It's it's kind of film, you know. It's not like you know, like cardboard cowboy or something like that, where it's like you know, it's an experience. You can just like watch them. Is she is she reading the chat? Is is cat reading the chat? She can't <laughs> she can't stop reading the chat. After that Halloween stream, her eyes are just permanently like just glued to the side at 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 any sort of chat. It's insane. 
<clears throat> Crimson Tide says, Do I know I'm the only streamer who constantly interacts with fans? That I don't believe. I believe that once you reach a certain size, I believe street, that once you get stream, fat enough, okay, it basically becomes impossible to have the kind of personal interaction that I have with you guys. I feel like yeah, I'm very at the personal. level right now where it's easy to do this. I feel if I grew a little bit more, it'd be a little bit tougher, but I could still do it. But you got to understand that some of these guys out there who have a ridiculous amount of viewers, there is absolutely positively no way they can have personal interaction. But that's not why people watch. Now, this is people pride watch them because they're popular. This is pride. This is this is really pride. This is a lot of pride and it's a lot of laziness and it's a bit of cope. It's a, it's a good bit of cope. He's coping so hard because of his pride of him. How his having a small fan base is a good thing. Because these guys that are popular, they they can't do what I do. I'm special, you see. I'm the special guy. I'm the special cool guy. They can't do what I do because I'm Phil. But I can do what I can do because I'm Phil. I'm I'm the I'm the underdog. Cause I've been around for like ten years, fourteen years. I'm still the underdog. Pretty epic. And I know this for a fact because back in the day, this is how it was on YouTube. You'd watch them and be like, I know this for a fact because back in the day. Back in the day, is like, his mind is like actually 10 years ago. But let's go on. Why are they popular? Well, take a look at someone like PewDiePie. He started pride, out being popular pride, pride, because he was pride. a guy who looked skinny is, and he's nerdy. He's priding right now. But he acted scared all the time when he's he He's a guy that looks games. skinny and nerdy. <sighs> all right, Phil, you want to you wanna, you wanna like show them more? This, this specimen, this being wants to you know oh you look skinny and nerdy i don't know about i don't know about you but i think like early uh, is, are there images of this dude nope no nope. i can do i can type i can type yeah early Pew i feel like i feel like young pewdiepie he didn't really look that nerdy like he was skinny yeah but he was just kind of a, a dude you know but sure Let's call him a nerd. He, he, this guy looks so he looks so nerdy. Look at this fucking wimp. This loser. This this skinny nerdy piece of shit. Ugh. Can't find it. Let's bully this dude. Yeah. Ugh. So he was a, what do they call a screamer streamer? He would no literally one called him a screamer. Over oh, the so top wait, wait a minute. A screamer streamer? He wasn't streaming. This, is this an actual term? Or did he make this up? This is like a weird film meme. It is a term, apparently. Uh... This seems like a pretty recent term, and also like not a term at all, actually. I feel like Phil made this up just now, or it's like a term that's recent. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I don't even care. I'm not going to... I don't care. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. And that got him very popular. I'm not hating on that, by the way. I'm that not hating on that, by the way. It worked good for him. That was a right? shtick. But then over time, all right, he changed to be different. And then he ended up getting such a <laughs> Then over time, he changed for being known to be different. being a popular gamer... That no one even remembers That's how life that works. he originally was a screamer streamer. No right? one cares. No one even remembers that. People anymore. remember. Which is a good thing. I feel people, like, you know what? You no, probably no, didn't want no, to do that forever no. anyway. So. People totally remember that PewDiePie used to be the guy who screamed at, at scary games. It's not like a new, strange concept. People just don't care because they like his personality. It's like how Phil was the guy who got really angry at games and said I was blocking, and he still does it now. But not as much. But people will still like Phil because they... I'm not going to say what I want to say. So so I'm happy for him that he ended up doing other stuff and maybe being more like himself and not having to be a I'll character. How his only like, reference for but a popular streamer so popular, or a popular YouTuber really think when he's is he just... Talk to people in his chat. Is just, unless someone's doing like a giant contribution and just, he sticks out. Unless someone's doing you know a contribution, I mean? like, he can't respond to anything. And watch literally because he's popular, right? If you actually said, all right, what... Uh, what is it that people tune into this big streamer for? What is the attraction? There are big, big streamers 
who basically they're popular because they're streaming one kind of content. Oh, I'm a pro at this game or whatever. Okay? Great. That makes sense. But take a look at a lot of the other popular people. Why are you there watching them exactly? What's what's the attraction? Right? And some people, they just they watch just because it's popular. You know? Take a look at some of the biggest popular things that ever happened on YouTube. Fred. A guy who was an you know, adult. The Fred reference. Edited his voice to sound like a child and scream. He never did a funny thing thing ever he never did a funny thing ever god damn that's so mean that's so mean and the way he said a guy who was an adult who edited his voice sound like sound like a child he never did a funny thing ever bro it was like 2012 we were legit in like low random xd world we were in like shirts where the punchline of the shirt was bacon it was just bacon existing we were in the bacon avocado shirt days for kids. And this guy wants to show him like low random XD. I think Phil did low random XD humor. It was like 2008. It was like 2008. If I search Fred, I'm either getting Van Vliet or the guy. I'm or, Yeah, there you go. There's, there's Van Vliet. There's Van Vliet. 11 years ago, 11 years ago, amigo, legit, this is the first video, it was 2008. It's on. My nose. <laughs> I did! It's literally just Fred being cringe with a shitty audio. It's this little weird gay kid, and now he's this little weird gay adult. Like... Hey, yo, the iCarly arc? That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. God damn. Yo, the John Cena one? Yo. That shit was wild. Love that shit, bro. Weezer? Weezer? He was on that Weezer pack? Yo, this dude was balling. He had so much swag. Yo, he interviewed Obama? Ball. He interviewed fake Obama? That's odd. Wait, is this the real interview? <sighs> this actually happened? Wait. Okay, wait. It's, Aliens, I mean, are they real? Yeah, it's, bu it's buggy Obama. Feels good, man. I, I was wondering. I don't know. It could it could have been real. Yo, I Justine. Shout out to I Justine, the guy that what did Phil what did Phil call her? Uh, he called her some kind of a whore because Phil was a cool dude. Look at all these hot Fred videos. Look at look at this. Uh, he's kept doing it. Wasabi. Goddamn. He really, he really blended into the, into the new style. And then six years ago, that was just the last one. He just died. He, he, he literally got shot in the face and he died. But you know what? Fair is also <laughs> public school superhero. Just sounds like I, I want that version of My Hero Academia. Honestly, It'd be pretty sweet. Yet he caught on like wildfire and became the biggest guy on YouTube for a while. Yes. Fred was the biggest thing on YouTube for it's, a while. Okay, so Phil. But that's because I, I want to make the popularity point. Popularity breeds more popularity. Oh my God, it's trending. Oh my God, it's at the top of views. People check it out. Maybe people who get popular it's good. It just means it's popular. Get you exposed know? to so more people who if like I their got stuff. To that level, honestly, I would probably be sad. And I probably He'd be would sad like I if he got too many views. What I this is the pride. The this is the pride. This, this is right the now, pride right here. You see this? You see this pride? The pride's acting up. I like doing what we're doing right now it's not decision making social interaction but it's 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 opting for something for else That's and what it's I really his assertion the most, that, that him not being popular right? if i is lost a good the ability thing. to have this conversation with you guys i would right? actually probably start to hate my job again because that's what it was back you in see, the day. I was just making videos, no conversation. If I, if I got too popular, I, videos of gameplay, I would be actually upset. Over it that was silly jokes, sexualized content, you know, stupid shit. Wait, and silly jokes? Like Fred? I got tired of it. I got bored of it. I didn't want to do it anymore. I felt so burnt out and played out. And I didn't want, you know, I changed for the better, becoming an interactive streamer. For the better. I like that interaction. For the we better. Have, if we didn't have that interaction, I would probably hate my job. I would but probably hate my job. I really do not believe 
that there's no one out there like me. That's bullshit. It sounds sweet creeps inside like you just don't watch people like me because you're so used to maybe watching other popular streamers that you don't realize that not shit. everyone's like that. There's tons of very Maybe you're too used to watching other popular streamers. You don't you don't watch enough streamers, asshole. What is this weird like shaming that he gives this guy? Like he's not wrong. There's definitely others like Phil who like middle at three hundred views and have bummy ass and they probably have better streams, honestly. But let's pretend. Let's pretend. But why is this is like weird weird shaming? Because it's weird when it comes up later where Phil's Phil will say, I don't watch other streamers. Very talented, very real people out there who do gameplay streaming, and it's not about the money, and it's not about, you know, it's not about the money. Kind of a fucking celebrity and popular on the internet. It's about they just love what they do. They love games, they love talking with people, having a good time. That's what it's all about. And those are the real people. Those are the people who should be promoted. The, the real people. people. Those are the people who should be promoted. Here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. He can't name any of these people. He can't name any of them. So when he says these are the people who should be promoted, again, this is his pride acting up. This is his passive aggressiveness towards people who are popular and his spite towards the popular people. And he's like, those are people who should be promoted. So he's implying that those who are actually popular, people who are actually popular, right, they shouldn't be promoted. People like Phil, who are sitting here in the yellow room, the yellow room with the box, the yellow room with the boxes. People like Phil, the real people. Th this, this is the guy who should, <laughs> who should be promoted, not the actual popular ones. People like Phil. That's him. That's a horrible fucking pause. Jesus Christ. Should get the opportunities, and they're not. They're yeah, because they're not popular. They, that's not what these companies look for. These companies look for the kiss asses. They look for the fake people. The people they're who are fake just people. You mean product, actors? Shill, shill, shill. You mean actors? Always say the positive thing. Take the paycheck to basically push out crap to their followers. Like I've told you guys, the way one he thing villainized that I absolutely this ECL passive aggressive that was, he was like so chill, and then immediately the big companies want to give it to the shills, the fakes, the liars, the fucking lying pieces of shit. Here's what they want to give it to the real guys like me, me Phil. I'm the cool real guy. They don't want to give it to the actual people like me. They want to give it to the the the, 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 the shills who will just lie to you. Like holy shit, bro, chill. We're not there yet. Hate right now. You'll be on Twitter, and you see one of these people who's a popular streamer or content creator, blue check mark next to their name. Oh, here's a, a fucking promotional tweet. Ad, ad, ad. What the fuck? So you don't care. You don't care about what you put out there. You just. If you do ads, you don't care about what you put out. That is an amazing leap. He looks, he sounds so disappointed. Oh, here's a, a fucking promotional tweet. Ad, ad, ad. What the f <laughs> He looks so disappointed. If you do promotion and here's the thing, here's the here's the thing, here's the thing. Let, let's 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 look at let's look at at they call me DSP, right? Let's look at at they they call me DSP. Let's see how many people how many guys does this guy follow? DSP the unstoppable. It's just it's him. This is him. A lifelong gamer. He's following 70 people. 70 people. Does he retweet anything ever? No. He doesn't interact with the, he, he doesn't interact with the fucking platform in the slightest. It's just a it's, it's a schedule. And then he shows up he's it's a schedule and he shits on Street Fighter 5 all the time. It's so fucking boring. He hasn't done anything. He doesn't do anything. It's so much. And when he read, it's always like a, a gif. Some stupid fucking gif. Oh my god. NFTs? I can't see a single positive thing about them. Blockchain is bullshit. Ah! <gasps> Oh, Troy Baker. He's still so mad at Troy Baker for feeling strongly about about a game that he voice acted in.
Jesus Christ. I'm sorry that it's almost like he gee, fucking Christ. But this guy doesn't interact with anything. So when you see when he says popular streamers, is he going by their views on streams or by their Twitter followers? Because he doesn't he doesn't do anything else. Doesn't use Instagram. Doesn't there's nothing else to use. When he says social media, he means Twitter. He just means Twitter. So, and, and his thing with the blue check marks is like, yeah, honestly, I think ads are way cooler than fucking seeing this face every other All right, everyone. What? I didn't know they sounded like well, that. Well, listen up, because we got some big schedule changes. I didn't know the schedule sounded like that. Holy shit, it sounds so terrible. On Sunday, the 30th of January, a brand new hat. <laughs> Yo, that sounds horrible. To show you that Skyrim... I, I hate it. I really, It sounds like weird ASMR. I've never listened to one before. I didn't know it sounded this crispy. So we'll see you... I don't... <laughs> this is whispering in your ear. He is whispering in your ear like he's fucking... Man, how do you know, man? Man, I ain't know, man. God damn. I, I had no idea. I had no idea. Fuck. So you don't care. You don't care about. But yeah, if you, if you put on, if you do an, a promote, if you do a promoted tweet, if you do an ad, if you get paid so you can do your content, you don't care about your content. Yeah, I agree. Don't take money for stuff to to put more into yourself and what you want to put out. Like let's let's be honest here. If you're a streamer, an artist, in anything, and someone's like, hey, you want to do this thing for us, and you can like get some money or get a product that you can use to help further your personal shit, I'd probably take it. If someone's like, hey, do this ad and we'll give you like a new microphone or we'll give you a a streaming PC. Yeah, I'd take it in a heartbeat. Do more dumb shit with it. What you put out there, you're just doing it for money, right? Doing it's ads mean ev <laughs> doing an ad means everything you do anyway, is for money. I what a cool a dude. If you do an ad once, everything you do is for money. I don't know now, anything about him. him now, now, now here's the thing. Here here is the funny thing. Here's I can just do this. I don't know why I thought okay. DSP E L O Hell. This this yeah. You can't find it. I like how it's all just like fucking it's just riot stuff. But yeah, this was a sponsored stream, by the way. It wasn't like a personal stream, it was a sponsored stream. E L O Hell. And it looked like this no hold on it looked like this now that's a cpu this is versus a cpu this is the game this was a sponsored stream look at this shit now it also had a segment that was like this is this is this is this was this this isn't the core gameplay the core game, this 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 fake MOBA shit. Holy fuck! The real gameplay, the real thing about it is that it's 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 advertised as like a as like a sitcom, like a Telltale game, and the Telltale part looks like a fucking Canadian, like a really old, like French Canadian animated cartoon. So, no, hold on, was that? Yo, hold on, this dude was jiving. Hold on, yo, 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 yo Dark Man in the Green. Dark man in the green. Yo, what is this walk? What is this walk animation? Yo, he was going crazy. He was jigging. He was jigging. He was doing the car. Yo, that's wild. This man's insane. This fucking little dance he's doing. This is walk animation. But yeah, so Phil, do you care if you respond to that stream? Did it, was this was this was this the real thing for you? <laughs> This is the most entertainment. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. This dude, this dude's little jive. He's doing that, that little arm rotation. That's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. A little shoulder roll. Yeah, the him the little little zero shoulder. Little is he? Hey, little is he? I can't talk anymore. I've never used one before. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, of course, Ronnie the Johnny says I find those kind of streamers Shots are small time streamers. They enjoy their, their doing what they do in their communities a lot more too. Of course they do, because they're doing it because they love it. 
I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love this. Popular man. I streamers really wouldn't. don't love it. I would it. fucking do something else. I would. I'm not going to do something just for a paycheck. I've been there, done that in my life, and I hated it. Every time I ever had a like job Elo that I only did just for money, I fucking detested it, you know? That's why I tough it out, and I, I want to stick with, with doing what I'm doing because I feel there's meaning. I tough it I out. That we have a great time together, and there's a reason to he keep He toughs out this, streaming. Right? I actually genuinely love this. Um, and those are the people who are going to be the most, the most meaningful to you, you know? They're not, oh, this is my job, so I need to fucking pay my bills by taking 400 sponsorships, and then you find but out. But you pay your bills again, again, again. This is the pride thing. This is the pride thing and the greed thing, because he want, his greed here is he wants other people to, to make less money. He wants them to not get promoted. He wants them to not get sponsorships. He wants the smaller people to get sponsorships, and he wants he wants to, again, talk about how he's, he's the guy. He's the cool dude that people should like. He's not doing it just for the money, but at the same time, Phil has asked his fans for help many times before. He's done it a lot. Where he's asked for... Remember the Save the House stream? He's asked his fans to help save his house. He's just kind of... He's kind of like that. They're rich. They have a fucking crazy-ass house and car. Oh, they're they rich. They go on paid trips everywhere. They go on paid trips everywhere. So his his thing with... His the fancy-ass house and car thing. So he's talking... He's, so I think he's talking about phase people like right right now. I'm almost entirely sure it's just phase. That's actually I'm actually certain it's just it's like guys like like douchebag streamers, whose thing is like I my stream looks really good, and I'm I'm, I'm literally like a if not pro I'm pretty cracked at the game. That's what he's shitting on people who show off, which not everyone, and then in his mind any popular streamer. Who gets those kind of views is the same kind of person who just has all this shit. By the way, they go on paid trips that are paid for. They don't even pay for them. <laughs> they go on paid trips that are paid for. They don't even pay for them. Phil, wasn't your trip to Machinima paid? Not, not Machinima. The one time Phil went to E3, that was a paid trip by Machinima. Because, yeah, but he didn't say like, oh, I don't want, I don't want your money. I want to go to my own dollar. It's almost like Phil is mad that he doesn't get these things anymore because he's not popular. But him shaming people for having paid trips that are paid for, would you rather they pay to go on paid trips? Why should they pay? Why should they turn down free shit? Is it because, is it because Phil wants that? Is it because Phil doesn't have that? Is that why they should turn it down because Phil doesn't have that? Does Phil want that? Do you want that, Phil? I think Phil wants that. <laughs> They're like sitting on a million dollars. Why is that funny? Know? Whatever. Jealousy. Bro, this is jealousy. Really genuine fucking content creator. They're not genuine because they have too much money. This is the pride and the greed. This is the pride. This is the pride adding up to contempt for those above him. He hates anyone who's doing better than him. So he he just it, they're everyone's fake. They're sitting on a million dollars. I'd f good for them. Based. They have a nest egg. That's awesome. His thing right here, what he's implying right here, is that they don't need money. They don't need sponsorships. Why should I want a streamer to need money? So they can do the fill thing and have a tip score on stream on screen? In like impact font? Like legit like like generic fucking font? Like I don't why should why should they not be having money? Is it because Phil wants that money? They don't need that million dollars because I because they have enough money already. Well, you don't get money by not having money, Phil. Yeah, those are the people you should definitely support. Those are the people you should definitely support. He says sarcastically, "There it is. You shouldn't support them because they already have money. You shouldn't support this person you like because they already have money. You should support instead me because I don't have money." Well, if I voted, if I, if I, if I, if my decisions were driven by who has less and not who I like, I'd feel a lot dumber, honestly. Ahem. <clears throat> Lean in ahem. Crimson Tide says, yeah, you can tell people who do it for money. They kiss ass products that are garbage, but they promote it because they get a cut. Of course. Who are these people? Name one. This is the, the, the sales says the anything else, anything of Beyond Good and Evil too at the Ubisoft conference. I have no clue. There, uh, I from what I'm to understand, the last we even heard about it was that it's in development hell, and Ubisoft doesn't really care about the game anymore. 
like it basically lost a lot of prominence. I guess what happened was there was management shifts and, and project leads that that moved around or whatever. And essentially, the project they don't really care about it anymore. It's it's all but dead. So, where did you this, sir? Hated one. No, I couldn't tell you names of other streamers that are entertaining and care about interaction with their audience because I'm a content creator myself, and that's what I focus on. I don't watch other streamers. I couldn't tell you the names of these people who are who are really good. Because I don't know them, so I'm just saying they might exist, essentially. I can't tell you these people... I can't tell you anyone who's good. But I can... I can't even... He can't name anybody. Because I'm a, I'm a creator. So I don't watch streamers. Now, if anyone who's ever done anything ever... That's just, that's just the full statement. If anyone has ever done anything ever, they'll tell you that the best way to... like. Market research is essentially a virtue. It's a it's a good thing to do in any field, literally any field. Doing market research is based because on one like as an if you're like an artist, admiring and listening to other artists is 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 a, is a really good thing to do. Looking at their art, looking at their work, listening to the like like if you want if you're a if you're a director, you should be watching films. But in Phil's mind. As a content creator, he shouldn't. He can't watch other streamers, even though him and his wife do. He said it before. I can't show you where. I'm sorry, because I don't know. But he said it before. I know it for a fact. But the thing, of course, that is like that's why his stream looks like ass. That's why it's this 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 this, this yellow man, this yellow gray man sitting in this yellow gray room. With a bunch of like, like underexposed boxes behind him because his stream looks like ass. It's why he has this outdated looking fucking tip skull below him. It's it's that's that's why he doesn't watch anybody else. So I couldn't answer your question. That would be up to you to find. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the watcher. I'm the creator. You know? I'm not and the watcher. I'm the creator. <clears throat> a proper creator would do both. You lazy fucker. He's special. He's, he's <laughs> That's a hilarious. Happy Tart says, oh, you lost your passion years ago, respectfully. So, respectfully. because you say respectfully and you say an incorrect statement, I'm supposed you to say be an like, incorrect oh, that's statement. fine. No, I, lo I lost my passion for doing on-demand offline so videos you lost around the year of 2014 to 2015. Wait, how was that I'm... incorrect information? You just said you lost it. He, this guy said you lost your passion years ago. He says, oh, that's incorrect. That's incorrect information. Then he says, I lost my passion for doing this kind of video. So you lost your passion, Phil? Is that what you're saying? It's almost like it just sounds bad when this other guy says it because you're not saying it to yourself. It's almost like your pride can't take the hit, buddy. But okay. Okay, amigo. Moved across the country. I was hoping there was going to be like a reinvigoration that I was going to be able to do a variety of content. That maybe I was going to do a news show in front of a green screen while also I was doing my co my content. It just never materialized. Okay. Yeah, because you're then fucking in 2016, lazy. I tried to reinvent myself with KO Gaming. It and worked, then you quit on that YouTube channel. Screwed me. So all that stuff. YouTube I screwed him until he lost Curse and Machinima, and then you could just use it again. But he never tried that again ever because he it wasn't it was bad for him at one time. So he can't try it again because he's persevering. I just lost my love for what I was doing. I did. I personally right now would never want to go back to being a full time. So you lost your passion. I hate I hate that. It's boring now to me. I want to interact with you guys all the time and have this fun conversation all the time. This is what I love. So this is fun. Yeah, I lost my passion. But man, did I either get it back or get a new passion, whatever you want to call it. So when so this guy says you lost your passion years ago, respectfully. He shits on the respectfully, which is sarcastic, of course. And then Phil says, he Phil, Phil drops this on you. Time and have this fun conversation all the time. This is what I love. So, yeah, I lost my passion. So, yeah, I lost my passion. But you said it was incorrect information. You said it was literally incorrect information. But now, yeah, I lost my passion. So you tell him a thing. He'll say no, you're wrong, and then he'll say, "Well, you, but you're right, though." So yeah, I lost. Uh, you, you lost your passion years ago, Phil. No, that's incorrect information. So yeah, I've lost my passion.
passion, but man, did I either get it back or get a new passion, whatever you want to call it. When I started becoming an interactive streamer, now things are so different, so different for me. I love this, man. I do. Every day, I love being here. I love being here, chilling with you guys, enjoying games, having fun. This is what it's all about. All right, guys, last chance to get a question in before I adjourn for the night. I would like to say thank you to those who did show with me for the end of Resident Evil 4. Thanks to those who were here for the last half an hour for this impromptu session. And for those who did actually support a little bit tonight with tips and the like. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate the money. I would hope you do, sir. <clears throat> I won't no, I don't you watch straight, TikTok. I promise. Oh no, I don't watch TikTok. You have a stupid question. <laughs> Seriously. Do you use this app? No, that's a stupid question. What the fuck, bro? It's a legit honest question. What a cool dude. You stupid fucking idiot. That's a stupid question. He laughs at your question. No, I only use TikTok. Ah, gah, 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 gah. What a stupid question. This is why you don't get a lot of questions, Phil, because you're an asshole. Wait. Am I hopeful for StarCraft 3? would be nice, but I don't know if I would even really be interested anymore. I haven't played a game like that in so long that it's kind of not my thing anymore, you know? It was never your thing, Phil. Don't count. Have a good night, Carlos. <laughs> have, a good night, Car have a good night, Carlos. I agree. Shouts to Carlos. Dan the Man just did a super chat saying there's a barcade in Knoxville called Tokens, has a drink called Street Fighter, has bourbon, coke, and a Slim Jim. That Oh. Oh, come on. Why does it have a Slim Jim? Uh, yeah, slim Jim. Is wrong That's with whiskey not my whiskey and get up. It's a Slim Jim. A fucking Slim Jim? Like a Slim Jim? Why would you want Please hard... Slim Jim's Why would you want drinks. bourbon with... Why do you want bourbon Ugh. with a meat, a meat product? Ugh. See, Leo Kira says, I wish you would give examples when you talk about people because you say... People that are shilling actually... This is why I want to watch this, honestly. Because this whole segment is insane. I'm going to let you listen to it the entire way through. I'm not going to pause it. I, I'll try not to. But the guy is questioning. I wish you would give, exam of, I wish you would give examples of people that shill. Actually, he said, a lot of people I watch that shill use and enjoy the thing. That's different. A lot of people that I watch who shill use and enjoy the thing. That's different. That's not shilling. That's not shilling. See, He's yelling at this dude. Again, they think it's black and white. People when don't I understand because they think it's black and white. People, I don't like people who it's him. All right. Do you even know what shilling means? Do you even know what shilling means? Shilling means selling something because He's you want to He's talking down to this guy if so hard. If you are hard. promoting something because you like the product, that's not shilling. Right? Like right but now. But you can make a buck off something I and still enjoy it. was asked by Hori, Hori. to advertise this headset Bro, that I've now been using for three months. Has dramatically if some, improved if a, my gameplay if a, sessions. If a girl, if a boy, if an, if an NB, if someone I would sucks my say, dick real good, and they're like, hey, this thing is give excellent. me a shout this out. This thing is outstanding. You know what give, I'm saying? Like, my, my I love fans. this product. I would promote it. Here's the difference. Shilling is when you're just advertising something to make, make a buck doing it. But you can but still enjoy it when you advertise it. The moment that someone's advertising something, it's bad. That's not true. Absolutely not. There's a difference between a paid advertisement or but, a truthful testimony. Okay, now I'm gonna pause it because Phil, you said that. Phil, you, you, Phil, you, Phil, you said, Phil, you, you can go back to when he said, oh, uh, we mentioned like uh, popular creators on Twitter who put out a promotional tweet and it's like ad, 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 ad. So you don't care. That's what he said. By doing an ad, you are immediately negative. You're immediately, you immediately, you don't care. He said that. That was him. That was him saying that. But now it's not immediately bad. And when you think that, it's wrong. It's a misconception. Bro, you said the thing. It was you. You're the guy. But now he's not the guy, you see. What, was Sunday? That's wild. You see the difference? Um, I don't think a lot of people get that, though. But no, yeah. back to my analogy. If someone sucks my dick for free and they're like hey i'll give you like ten dollars to like you know promote me, promote me on promote me on twitter or something my only fans or some shit and i'm like yeah i can use the money i i can i'm slurring so hard right now i can use the money is that showing because i'm just i'm advertising because i, I want to make money i'm not advertising it because i'm not i'm not like you know like giving her a shout out giving them a shout out giving them a shout out because i want to be like you know 
I don't I'm not doing because you know I I I want to help my my viewers find a good thing. I'm doing because I just want the money. But I enjoyed the product. <laughs> that sounds really dirty when you put it that way. But I enjoyed the product itself. I got a free sample and I enjoyed it. But I'm not telling you because I want you to. I I also want you to en to enjoy their fellatio skills. I'm telling you because I want money. Does it matter though? No, it doesn't. And that's the problem too. Is I'll be honest with advertisement, it's hard to tell. A lot of the times, it's a, a fake testimonial, right? You get paid to say good things. Now, is that truthful or not? How would you even know, right? So anyway, no, all advertisement is not bad. If someone actually backs a product, and he's like, that wasn't the question. That wasn't the, that wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. The question was, I wish you would give examples. That's what he said. I wish you would give examples because I watch people who show, but they also use enjoy the product. His he focuses on the on the last part of the question, and ignores the first part of I wish you would give examples, because the thing is Phil can't give examples because Phil said it earlier before this, I don't watch other content creators. So him think his thing on shilling is literally that he's just like someone can like do an advertisement and they can play the game or they can do use the product. Why can't they? But in his mind, because he saw a promotional tweet. And because he doesn't watch the content, so he can't know if they're shilling or not. This is this is this is the fucking tangled web he spins with his fucking pride. This is this is all pride, by the way. This is all his pride acting up. Right? Him being the special guy. It's a it's actually the one ongoing theme here. But like you have three you have three things here. I don't watch other content creators. That's number one. Number two is that popular content creators shill and they put out ads for the sake of money but then you have this third thing which is shilling isn't just putting out an ad if you use and enjoy the product but the thing is here he doesn't watch these streamers to know if they use and enjoy the product so it's like these three things cannot come together they're, they're, they're they're so it's like two opposite charges they cannot come together and stay together because it's three differing narratives and they all come when they if they join it doesn't make sense maybe watch it maybe like if if the eye watch other people if like if he i don't even know they can't they can't they can't converge because what he's saying here is it's all different things filtered through pride and none of them make sense they're all fucking stupid. None of them logically actually make sense if you listen to Phil. And that's one of his terrible conditions. If you listen to what he says, what he's saying doesn't fucking make sense. And feels positively about it, then they should have the right to maybe do a paid How do you know whether or not they feel positive? It. But the problem is, nine times out of ten, what you're seeing with these content creators who? is just who? This. who? It has nothing to do who with them actually they? liking the product. How nothing. do you know that? You They're don't watch the them. Paycheck, you know? How do you know? So why can't they why can't they take a paycheck if they're also you don't know that, Phil. You're just assuming that because you're a negative asshole. Will I ever have any purpose with the pulse headphones now? Um First of all, they're falling apart, which sucks. I only own them for a so year. So are you, Phil. You're year. falling apart, too. What's and your point? At the very tail end of me using them, the pad was coming out of the ear cup. Yeah, so it was cats. It was about was to I'm fall sorry. apart when these You're showed up, apart. luckily, and that kind of saved the day. Um, cats I like day, having asshole. backups. I'm the kind of person that I like having uh, a backup to fall on if something goes wrong. So, God forbid, my hoary headphones break. I probably would go back to using the Pulse temporarily until I could find a replacement or get another pair of the Hori. You see? Broke guy, by the way. His keyboard, <laughs> like, failed during the stream. Go to Avengers. Besides Street Fighter, what were some of your favorite arcade games? First arcade game I ever played was TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. Beat em up. Amazing game. Looked like the cartoons. I loved it. Uh, Simpsons. Beat em up. Amazing game. X-Men beat em up. Amazing game. Bunch of um, fucking beat em up. Bunch of those were the three, really. That got me so excited for arcade games before Street Fighter, and then after that it was just fighting games, fighting games, fighting games, fighting games, fighting Bunch games, of and a little bit of NBA Jam, a little bit of puzzle games like uh, Bust a Move and things like that. This guy was on Bust a Move. Oh hell yeah! Still on that Bust a Move shit. Have a good night, Sayo. All right, guys.
Last chance for a question because I got to wrap up now. We're getting late. All right. Last chance for a question. Last chance for a contribution. Last chance for everything before we. Last chance for a contribution. Favorite Call of Duty games is Modern Warfare, and the most recent one that I liked was Black Ops Cold War. But Modern Warfare One is my favorite Call of Duty game. If you're talking old old school, which no one even talks about anymore, Call of Duty Two, the old school World War Two game that was outstanding was best in class at the time. Yes, there's Chick-fil-A near me. Yes, I've eaten them two or three times. I love the spicy chicken sandwich. That's all I've ever had there. It's very good. I don't know anything about Inscription Pickle, man. Never heard of it. People have told me about it. Said, oh, it's a good game. I don't know what it is. I know nothing about it. People uh, have yes, told me. Yes, I played the sequel to X-Men Legends. That's X-Men a good Legends game. 2. I played it with Rambo. We played Legends 1 and 2. I don't think we ever finished it. But I never checked that out. I think we, we definitely did a full playthrough. Now, I recall... I, I focus on that because of one thing. Back when... Back before Apex came, Apex Legends came out, he was like, "Hey guys, if there's a popular game that's you know like it's like you know big and popular, it's gonna it's really good. Tell me about it." Then when you brought up like Apex, he was like, "I don't want to play that. It's stupid. It's a fad." So this game that he, people are selling, people are telling him, multiple people are saying, "This is a good game. You should, you should try it out, Phil." He's like, "I don't want to try it out. It's, it sucks. I don't want to. I know nothing about it." And just blows him the fuck off. So yeah, no one people. This is why people don't ask him questions because he's an asshole about it. He sucks. You have a good night, Go Team Venture. Thanks, man. All right, last question. I'm gonna answer one more question. So last chance, and then I'm, I'm out of here. Let's see if, well, who asked what. <laughs> Now I'm getting no questions. Everyone's just saying goodnight. It's yeah, <laughs> delay. No final question. This huh? is another wow. thing. Yeah, I don't know if he doesn't understand how delay works, but his stream is delayed because it's a stream. You can't ask a question like and then wait like ten seconds because what you said ten seconds earlier, your your chat's getting it right now. So the way he's asking questions, it doesn't make sense for a guy who streams all the time to not understand how delay works. But I guess he doesn't. So that's pretty cool. I think that, like, he, like, does the, the suck, this bullshit. I don't know why I pause it. I don't even care anymore. Oh. I've answered all of your questions. You will never... You, I'm There's actually just delay, Phil. There's satisfied. delay. Everyone you can just stream, wait. Right? Delay. Everyone... <laughs> oh, my God, Phil. Great. What a con. What a con. All right. I guess that's it. Like, I'm not even kidding. What He's is my favorite Italian dish? Again. I don't have one. Because I'm a kind of guy that likes variety and I like to rotate between things. I don't like. I, like I don't have any I like favorite. Pasta, I like ziti rigatoni. I like pizza. I like a lasagna. I like a million Italian dishes. I don't, chicken parm is outstanding. You know, I've had so many good ones. Just, like eggplant parm. What do you like? A have penne? I farted on camera? Yes, I fart on camera all the time. You guys apparently don't hear it because sometimes I'm rooting tooting here after a gassy meal. Fart time. Like a, a gassy meal. Dairy and, and, and at dinner, I am farting up a storm, and you guys apparently farting never up a hear storm. it. Funny. It's funny. All right, you know what? Okay. Fuck this. This is worthless. It, there's nothing left. I guess. All right, it. guys. I guess that's well, gonna be all it. right, guys. I'm Thank the guy. Thank you, guys. The dude. Please have a good evening. The lad. I hope to see you all. Sanctification on Twitch. For listening. Scumbag on YouTube. And I'm signing off after that. Uh, troubled, very, very troubled, stream. Of series none. So I'm bidding you an adios. And adieu. TV that hate that hates gamers, that's fucking awesome. I fucking hate gamers too. Gamers are fucking stupid. They should all die in real life. Fuck it's a gun. I hate that dude. Hate his content. But that's not relevant. <laughs> that was real toxic right there. I don't know. I'm the guy, the dude and the lad bidding you adieu. Adios. Et au revoir. Wait. Wait. Au revoir. <laughs>